Well, Palestinians are facing mounting piles of garbage and sewage in the summer heat amid the ongoing conflict in Gaza. It's becoming increasingly difficult to dispose of waste and deliver clean water to the region. Health officials have seen a spike in hepatitis A cases, and some doctors are concerned about a potential cholera outbreak. NPS Tayeb has the latest headlines from Israel. Well, aid agencies in Gaza say another child has died of malnutrition, bringing the total now to over 35 children who have died because of the desperate famine that is spreading across parts of Gaza. We also understand that at least six Palestinians were killed in an Israeli strike in Gaza City. And we also understand that in southern Gaza, in the city of Rafah, entire districts are being flattened as Israel continues to carry out its massive offensive there. Now, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that the, quote, intense part of the operation in Rafah could soon be coming to an end. He also said that some of those forces could be redeployed to the northern border with Lebanon as Israel continues to trade cross-border fire with the Lebanese Hezbollah movement. Now, all of this, as Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, concludes his meetings in Washington with senior White House officials, where he said he received assurances that Israel would continue to receive the arms that he said it needs. Now, this is after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on two separate occasions accused the Biden administration of slowing down arms shipment that he said Israel was promised. Uh, well, whether this means that uh, this open hostility between the Israeli Prime Minister and President Biden uh, will now calm down is hard to say at this stage. But what is for certain is that the violence and fighting in Gaza continues. And the concern now is that what we've been seeing in the north with this cross-border fire will also only get worse. I'm Marie. MTS, thank you.